my subject given was shared leadership. I wanted to explore more into the subject because of how the topic, how the topic <clears throat> relates to our society today and how we don't really get much say in how our society runs. <clears throat> the book I chose was Brave New World, which was basically about how the society has been controlled either by drugs or by the leaders since like the beginning since the people in the society were born. <clears throat> The first source I used was an article called How Power Corrupts the Mind by the Atlantic Daily. And that talked about how people with more power are more pro-social and the people who say they have more self-centered values tend to be more selfish with the more power they have. The second source I used was a TED Talk about shared value by Michael Porter. In the video, he says shared value should be about meeting important needs and the social and economic values, but how in reality the government steps in and turns it into a competition of the willingness and the ability to compete with one another in business and in the environment. The third source I used was a historical nonfiction book and <clears throat> it was be it was called Between Shades of Grey, and it was about a concentration camp controlled by the Nazi police, and it claimed people and called them thieves and prostitutes, and how they would put them in the camps and force them to do labor, um, forced labor, for the crimes that they committed, and they would have to work off their punishment. And in the book, all the families were together, except for like the fathers. They went to a separate camp. <clears throat> and in all of my sources, there was one thing that I noticed in between all of them. It was how easy a society will let one person take control and empower their lives, whether it's like a leader or like a person who has like any type of power. <clears throat> With all of the things I have read about, I agree with like the one thing with how we do let a single leader have so much power over people and how it could turn into competition from leaders. And from doing this project, I realized that we all have power and we all get a say in how the country runs, but we don't always get a choice to how we follow.